Hey everyone, mango 7 World here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And today is update content day. And I didn't notice because I thought it was Tuesday. Apparently it's Wednesday. Nobody told me. I don't know when that change happened. But uh, let's get into this here. We've got a bunch of stuff I'm assuming we've already seen. Like I feel like this is basically a, a patch of the dev notes we already had. So I feel like I'll be skipping a lot of these things. Like we've already read about these buffs here about Pavel, about Sigrid. Um, Sigrid, of course, being able to extinction people, which is pretty solid. Lydica being able to uh, unhealable and stuff like that and public ex execution changing as well. Xeno doing Xeno things, question mark. Uh, Faith is Lydica becoming an absolute baller. I'm really interested to see how this turns out to see if she kind of uh, finds her way into more teams, specifically in defense instead of offense. Uh, I really want her, and I, I I thought she was good before. Granted, I didn't have her, just my speculation, and from what I've heard, people using her a lot. I feel like she was already good, and I feel like now she's going to be really good. So, uh, kind of interesting to, to see how that's going to work. We also have Benevolent Roman. I'm not sure what to say about that. We've got the World Arena season coming around. This is cool. Uh, if anybody hasn't bought their PvP gear and rolled it into effect resist yet, just like hurry up, get it bought, roll it into effect resist, put it in your storage. Uh, you know it's coming, you might as well just get it over with, you know? So we've got a bunch of information here. Pre-ban is what I was interested in here. So uh, 30 seconds to select the hero they want to pre-ban. Um... If uh, pre-ban your most recent choice of aura rant. Okay, your most recent choice. Okay, so you can pick them and then let the same people get banned every time. Uh, that's what I was kind of wondering, to see if you could like preset your pre-bans. Because honestly, I feel like most people are just going to pre-ban the same people a lot of times. A mock battle is something I'm really excited about. So very excited about. I cannot wait to duel everybody and show them who's boss. Um, not me, by the way. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. Notification on the bottom left screen. That's cool. Uh, we can battle from their friend screen. Uh, here comes the new challenger. Yep, this is all cool stuff. Anything new though? We've got the Tenebria skin, 1600 or more. I really hope this is accessible to people who, you know, like aren't the greatest, but people who, who give it their all this season. Also, this is one of the best. Um, icons I've ever seen, I think. I really like that icon. I don't think I can make it to Legend, but I, I really, really like this icon. I actually really like the... Oh. It looks a lot different than a lot of the other icons I feel. Um... Ah! They're still not gonna show us what the Spectre Tenebra skin looks like. We don't even have, like, a hint. Yeah, this showdown frame, I think, is one of my favorite frames I've ever seen really unique like the others feel like they're um symmetrical this one is just super cool and we get the the battle pack too that's kind of cool too having that battle frame we've got sinful angelica we all know this sinful angelica i hope everybody gets lucky and gets her uh i have one moonlight summon and that's it i feel like she's not coming home which is okay she'll come home eventually uh i i really wish I, I saved my mystics, but at the same time, I wish I didn't because every time I save my mystics, things go horribly wrong. So I'm pretty happy uh, with just hoping I get her in the future. Um, I've actually got more ML5s than ML4s from uh, Mystic Bookmarks. So uh, Charon is coming up. Charon and Krau. Interesting choices. So Krau is a really fantastic unit. So is Charon. Both of these are really great. And Alexis Basque is actually... A pretty good artifact now and shame on everybody who uh powdered their basket after i told them not to shame on each and every one of you you know you shouldn't have done it you should have saved it just in case it got buffed and it did so uh both of these are pretty solid i probably wouldn't recommend summoning on either right now though just with the state of unsuredness is that the right word the state of unknowing of what's coming and no good things are coming but we don't know when. Uh, but we do know it's summer coming up. We do know there's a collab rumor coming up too. So there's a good chance within the next two months we have um, one or both of bikinis. 
and uh, swimsuits and jiggle physics uh, and skins and new characters and SSBs, possibly an SSB rerun and a collab. Also potential GGG. Um, no, just GG. GGG is Path of Exile. GG, Guilty Gear uh, collab coming out with uh, not only a rerun, but a potential Eno coming out as well. And then a second unintroduced collab that we don't know about. So there's just so much going on right now that can happen at any time right now. So I really just don't recommend, unless you just want these so bad for some reason, I just don't recommend summoning on anything but limited right now, basically. At the stages 12 and 13. So um, honestly, all I want out of these stages is 20 or less stamina. I really, really desperately hope they did not up the stamina by any amount because it's just it's just infuriating if they do that, and I don't think it's necessary. I think this was the perfect opportunity for them to rebalance stamina, um, so I hope they didn't go overboard. Like, there's... I'm so scared right now. I'm actually, like super scared let's have a sip of coffee just like relax the nerves there's no way they would put it up to 30 or 25 or something right there's no way they would do it i'm gonna have a sip of coffee ah it's delicious come on 22 okay that's still bad but it's better than i thought it was gonna be um i don't know why they would change it to 22 like just like, you know it's such a big problem, just leave it at 20. Like, is it really worth the negative publicity you're going to get for 22 energy versus the 20? I mean, probably because the amount of Leafs they're going to sell, but still. So we've got the achievements as well. Um, really hoping they would say some more about hunts here. We can see they drop the 85 gear. We can see they drop the Reforge Essence and the regular Essence as well. I want to see more specifics, like specifically um, what can be reforged. Uh, 85 only. Okay, so you can't do under 85 gear. Uh, I really... I feel like this has been in the pipeline for a while then, right? Because there's no reason to put things at eye level 78 that have the same rules as 85 unless you plan to do this in the future so i imagine this plan has been with them for a very long time um just with how they have been itemizing stuff in the, the past here so it can only be 85 plus 15 to 90 um equipment for forging remember so we put it in does it stay plus 15 it stays plus 15 and it just upgrades okay so that's kind of cool um <laughs> I love how their piece has all ER on it. That's really funny. 8 speed, up to 7 speed, up 4 ER, up 1 effectiveness, up uh, 2 crit damage. That's pretty cool. Um, not really much to say about this outside of we need to see how it feels. Uh, 22 stamina sucks. That's so much. I don't know why they would do that. Not sure. Uh, we have the Catalyst Journal here. Um... What does the Catalyst Journal do? Oh, it shows where they drop. Okay, this is kind of cool. Something that I personally um, often just find myself clicking through things, even this far into playing the game. So um, I imagine new players have a rough time trying to find out where it is. Um, it's definitely something that needed to be added to the game. We've got the Hero Story updates too here. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, there's definitely some of these I'm going to reread, and once all this stuff is in the game, I think I'm just going to sit down one day and just read everything. Or just, like, pretend I'm I'm picking up a book and just read it all here. Because there's so many things I want to catch up on, but I just haven't really been able to. So we've got uh, Hero Management UI Improvements. Um, step one, increase this up from 300 and your equipment things. That's the biggest improvement you can make. But what else did they improve? We've got that here. We've got this here. Uh, I don't really see any differences. Like, uh, maybe it's these buttons here. I guess we'll see. 
Um, lobby, the skill enhance and drill buttons will be deleted. Okay, that's that's good to get rid of that fluff there. Although I cannot tell you how many times I'm going to click into them and try to get it from there. So, uh, details, relationships, voices, hero stories, hero view. Voice actress and actors, maybe? Perhaps that could be something you should add into a character's information. Uh, additional improvements and bug fixes. We have a summon pack. Uh, those heirs who successfully completed. Yep, yep, yep. So we can get a five-star Covenant hero ticket for episode one. Uh, only purchase one special mystic pack. Uh, will it be available for four hours? So it's one of those times ones once per month. Uh, oh, it's only... Only people who have bought all of the Mystic Packs? That's a lot of Mystic Packs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's like $1,500, is it not? That's ridiculous. Even more leaf pack for people who have bought all the leaf packs and this right here folks is why we have 22 stamina instead of 15 or instead of 10 or instead of 12 this right here is why i i questioned myself a little earlier why it would be 22 stamina and we've got our answer <laughs> that's so sad um We've got some fixes as well. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm not going to read these. Usually they're just minor text fixes and stuff. Um, I'm sure I'm going to miss something super important, but uh, I don't want to go through all that. Okay, so that's the patch for today. Um, some pretty cool things, some pretty downer things as well. Specifically 22 stamina. I think that's like this should be a really positive, and it still is. Don't get me wrong. It still is a really positive uh, patch here. I really like this. But all I can think about in the back of my head is 22 stamina, let's sell more leaf packs. You know, that's that's what I can think about with the direction from the game. I hate that my mind goes there, it's just kind of what it does. I'm also really excited for Simple Angelica and I cannot wait to see what kind of collabs and units we have coming here. So um, let's read some comments, these are always fun. Weren't balance team ever in game industry? Why Flitica needed the buff? What about the other? 2,148,900 oh 21,489,000 nope 14 million heroes you suck <laughs> have devs forgot to buff in heroes like haste haste buff when um hopefully haste gets a natural buff just from these hunts we get uh cool 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 Rip energy. You guys are awesome. There you go, buddy. No change to Mulligoras. Yeah, that is a little unfortunate, too. I love reading these comments. They're so, so funny. Um, anyways, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, as always. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.